recording this as well. So yeah, now now that we're recording, everyone on YouTube's gonna be like, wait, what are you guys talking about? We're so far behind. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's been a minute since I've streamed a comp match. I'm actually kind of excited to see the uh, spectator mode. I know I'm excited. I know uh, a lot of the streamers have been complaining for a long time about it. Didn't think they were ever actually gonna fix it. Well, it's it's kind of the entire reason why I stopped streaming uh, comp. Like I I want to get back into it because I want to help out map fights. But as of right now. I can definitely say that. Um, seeing seeing the way the just the entire menu just seeing ready, no tank selected, nothing. You know, it's just, weird. It's it's I, I it yeah it is it's way weird, seeing that. But seeing that it's Prokhorovka multi base, we're probably gonna be seeing some E fours, super conks, valors. Um, oh yeah. Kind of wondering how common is the uh, chieftain right now. The Chieftain, it depends on what map you're playing. Like, something like Steps, you'll probably see it pretty often, just because it's a it's a really good mid-range support tank. But I don't know about proc. Yeah, well, with the hatch buff, I mean, it's only 230. You know, standard rounds from uh, most tanks in Tier 10 are going to go through it still, but at 230, yeah. it's quite a bit. There we go, oh, we're yeah. off. No, it's, I actually, I just picked up the Chieftain the other night, back when uh, the 6.0 update rolled out and they changed the tech tree and everything. Got that thing for free, and I finally, finally just shelled out the silver for it. I'm surprised I don't see it more because I played it. It's a pretty solid tank. Oh yeah, like really surprised. So uh, one thing I can say, I'm gonna quickly organize my uh, loadout once we load in for what teams are spawning on what sides. So we got four cad on right. There we go. These things are freaking gigantic. We're gonna move these up a tad bit, shrink some stuff down, and get things rolling the way that I want to see them. Because Yes, they literally caught me out at, like, such a fast time. Now yeah, we're gonna make these look nice and pretty. Oh, would you- hey! Four cads rolling two chieftains, just like you were talking about. Yeah, well, chieftains, I mean, they got the speed along with the speed. Oh, yeah. They and have the their reload. Gun. The gun is phenomenal. Yeah, the 120 with the- it's just such a fast fire rate and everything else. So, yeah, as I'm getting everything set up, because- yeah, this is instant, just full-on slap to the face. Hey! Looks like Mjolnir's making a heavy push to the B-cap. On the right side, I see that. I actually like how I can see some of the uh, hit points right now. Oh, I know, it's great. It's gonna make a big difference here. Let's see... Brian walking over rolling. on the 4-cad. Yeah, I was looking yeah, at that. Yeah, taking out a D8. CS63 Ron as Vaughn's well. Actually, machines. Double Ron machines. Vaughn is a great pick for proc just because the turret is phenomenal on the hold down, the auto loader in the wide open areas. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, right now, um, I really like what Ford Cat is doing with uh, Southern. That overmatch on the machine. Machines, they're not exactly the strongest whenever it comes they're... down to it. No, they, uh. The machine, I love the machine to death, but it is. It's. For all the armor it has on its turret and like the front middle of the tank, it's a very squishy tank on everything else. Yeah, as of right now though, Mjolnir seems to be at a disadvantage hit point wise, and they're also a tank down already pretty oh, yeah. early into the game. Really, really early into the match. Yeah, extremely early. CS63, you're going to be using that rate of fire on the machine on Ninja? Part of Mjolnir. I really like the way they have this set up now. Oh yeah, they've got it on lock. This is looking pretty good. Yeah, 4 has got a really good uh, defense setup in the center. The, the uh, Chieftains, they have mobility plus rate of fire. And then, if you notice, they had the Super Conch placed up closer, peeking underneath the uh, train tracks there. That's actually a really good choice. Strav 103 in the background with the E3. I am surprised to see them playing Chieftains right there instead of Valors. Double Just bad chats are purely. deciding to push up in there, taking down the CS-63. 4 Cat is down a very fast medium tank. And soon to be losing a little uh, bit of V range as well. Now they're focusing on oh, the Kron and Vagen. getting surrounded. Yep. He's going to be getting some support from the E3 though, and the uh, Strav 103B. So, and there we go. There's a Valor taken down. Batchat's still up. Uh, right now, it looks like the Strav is missing a few rounds. And heading back into the middle here with the QL. Oh, Batchat down. Yeah, Mjolnir's down four. Uh, I like how they have the hit points back up at the top as well. So yeah, Mjolnir with the four thousand. 4,000 compared to the 9,000 that uh, 4 cat is all over right now. Um, if Mjolnir wants to take this in, they're just going to have to try and lock down and hold out, but the E3 and the Super Conk will be... The E3-Striv uh, combo in the back is... That's yeah, a very that's pretty devastating. Combo. 
Especially with the E3 being where it is, it's extremely well hauled down. Yep. And also, it doesn't it doesn't help that Mjolnir made that heavy right side push straight into their line of sight. Oh yeah. Well, with the CS63 camped up there, he was just early uh, early warning. Oh yeah. I've seen a lot of teams will take a CS on this map and they'll go right up into that A0 corner just because it can get there so fast and you have a great line of sight of everything down that side of the map. Oh yeah, it definitely makes a big difference. I would well, say that's a go. decisive 4CAD victory. Yeah, 4CAD definitely took that without a problem right there. Yeah, Super Conk up in the front with the uh, Kronenwagen. Taking it up there, looking at the scoreboard here. The Hello. bad chats from uh, Mjolnir jumping in to do a little bit of uh, extra things going on. Bark, uh, streaming, jump out. I'm sorry. You're fine. Um, four CAD, yeah, Super Kong, Kronenvagen. The Chieftains weren't really putting in too much work, but they were providing a pretty good amount of support. You know, preventing the, um, from what I remember, the Valor and the QL from pushing over to take down the Super Kong. So those Chieftains were pretty much support by that point. Oh, yeah. It's more so of a presence thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd honestly say 4CAD had a pretty good play across the board right there. That was a really good defensive setup right there. Indeed. That looked to be pretty nice. Well played out. The Kronenwagen plays down in the uh, ditch over at 8. On the 8 line going down into the waterway. I can't remember if it, what the... Uh, lettering was behind it. I don't remember it. exactly what the grid yeah. was, but yes. down down there in that river where the dip is. I'm interested to uh I'm interested to see how our tournaments go uh just this season we have uh, a new way to like spend the point this season. They can uh, use the map to take ban. So far but I have a feeling a lot of that saved up point uh, you're cutting out a little bit there. Oh, am I good now? Uh, yeah. But, okay. You, okay, so they're saving up, you can save up points for the end season? Yeah, so basically the way ITW has always done their, uh, or done our points is, uh, you play a match, say you win 3-2 to someone, you get 3 points, they get 2 points. We never really had a way to make those points valuable, so this season we, uh, we implemented you can use those points to buy map bands and tank bands. And, uh, so far the season... Not a lot of people have been using them, and I have a feeling that they're, they're going to be saving, they're them saving for the them end all game. up for the tournament. So I'm I'm really excited to see how the tournament's going to turn out. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of E4s and Valors get banned. Oh yeah. Well, for example, Mjolnir is very fond of using machines. Like that's their favorite tank to use. And uh, I think last week they were playing uh, Deify, and they banned the machine, and it was it it definitely threw a rant uh, Mjolnir's plan. Yeah, it sounds like it would. Um, did they switch up the AMX 50Bs then? Oh, I think they ran... I think they did run 50Bs in place of the machines, because they really like the just crazy chaotic... or chaoticness of autoloaders. Why not some TVP action then? You know, I... I like the TVP, but I don't... I don't think it does well in comp. I really don't. I, I think it's a fantastic tank. It does struggle quite a bit, though. Like, there's tanks that I really like to play in pubs, and I think are very strong in pubs, but in comp, I don't think the TVP is one of those, just because of how squishy it is. It it, it can be extremely squishy. Um, even Like, it, it's, it's armor all around. It, it feels like you're trying to play a Leopard 1 it, yeah, the entire yeah, exactly. time. So but that autoloader can be devastating. Uh, but the fact is, the machine's got a better reload and better accuracy and better interclip reload. Yeah. So the machine does kind of outmatch it quite a bit. But it's like if they want to keep that gun in there with the speed, uh, the TVP's advantage is concealment. So there is that. This is true. I know lately, a lot of the mediums I've been seeing lately is uh, I see the CS played a lot. Obviously, bat chats. Um, bad chats are kind of like the trademark for comp, though. Bad chats are they're they're always gonna be there. Yeah, always gonna be there. You'll never not see those. Oh, I know. It's 
is just too good of a tank for like flank squads and hit squads and stuff like that. Well, it's even, too good. even though they've debuffed him multiple times and they've limited the ammunition yeah. on it, it's yeah. like for cop, all you really need is 30 rounds. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm surprised that they haven't uh, deeped up, debuffed its uh, concealment yet. Oh, I know. I've. I know for me personally, I've got my bat chat decked out for like stealth and B range. It's devastating. Oh yeah, you just you, you pull up to the middle of the map, you stop, you look around, and you're just mm. like, none of you can see me, here I am. You this... can play the first half of the match just passive spotting, and then just sweep the whole team at the end of the match. Exactly. Or come in and finish off three people and then run away. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Bad chat, and then the uh, Chafia the they just recently uh, brought back up last week on sell. That was actually I'm happy I picked it up whenever they had it out. Oh yeah. That interclip reload of four seconds though really hurts. <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm uh I'm interested to see going forward in the comp if we're gonna see a lot of EBRs. You know EBRs, um, since they didn't really debuff the V range, like they are over on PC, I think we probably will. I know their top guys... speed that they have. Um, yeah, they're they're definitely devastating. But their penetration, uh, they are lacking. The 240 heat pin is pretty nice though. But the mobility, um, I do think you're going to see them because they'll be able to focus out heavy tanks in one-on-one -on -one fights and have that oh, yeah. mobility advantage. Looks looks like we are ready to go. Yeah, a couple of the guys in uh in my clan, they uh they just free XP the EBR as soon as it came out and Oh I did. Tier ten they oh, I did. they <laughs> yeah, I they will said not deny uh, that. they said pretty much the only the only bad part about it is uh the the steering is a little little finicky. They you they, know, you, you they did fix it and, a tad bit. They did fix it a tad well, bit. Well I know they fixed that uh what was it like the zero left to front wheel? The overall turning um beforehand was zero to a hundred. And that's what it originally Ooh. was. So you had to uh, try and get it set up to where it's like they made it to where you actually have a little bit more control over the yeah. amount that's applied, depending on how much force you're putting on Instead the thumbstick. Sitting there, flicking the stick, force trying to get the perfect it. turn. Yeah. yeah. So Mjolnir's rolling. Looks like two Valors, Bat Chat, a T100, a 60 TP, a Chieftain, and a CS63. And four cats are pretty. A, yeah, that's that actually sounds that's like a pretty, pretty good mobile, lineup. Pretty yeah. mobile loadout. Four cats running a T100 LT, Strav 103B once again. Uh, two Chieftain Mark Sixes as well, an IS4, which is kind of surprising to see. Uh, Super Conk and another Kronenwagen and a CS63. Mjolnir already taking a hit on their light tank yeah. T100 right off the bat. Chieftains are actually got doing a pretty good the, uh... push into the center. Yeah. T100 got tagged making the initial spotting run. Indeed he did. They're going to be wanting to focus out that T100 because they want to get rid of that V-range. Oh yeah. T100s are dangerous on this map. They really are. There's so many different places you can hide in bushes and all that. And right here, the disadvantage of the Chieftain showing itself. Can't really overexpose too much. That side armor yep. is not going to be able to handle his 120s. Super in a I, I very like... good spot. The double bat chats up on the hill are taking down the uh, CS sixty three. He's doing a jump down, trying to get out of there. And Orcat a little bit of Super Conk isn't support. a very good spot. That's a very strong position. Indeed, it is. Now the Kronenwagen's getting some shots on the bat chats. One bat chat knocked off a Mjolnir's team, and uh, Kronenwagen is still one more shell. I think he's out of ammunition now. But Looks like CS sixty three CS is about to drop. No, I think that uh, that CS is going to stay in the fight because Kronenwagen is now on reload. Oh, yeah. Scratch oh, that. T100 <laughs> LT taking a cross shot. That was a pretty good hit there. Now, the 60 TP, I'm kind of surprised that he hasn't pushed all I... the way up. I'm surprised they played a 60 TP on this map to begin with. I am. Yeah, why, why like... I can see the benefits of the 60 I, TP with the high explosive on haul down tanks. Oh yeah, that it's definitely a good one, but it, at that point you could just play a super conk and just stock up on Hesh. Or pull out a Strum Tiger, have it sit in the back of the map and you know, <laughs> watch a slow death fly across the map. 
lob baseballs of death over the hill. Uh, yeah, just RB lock and fire behind the hill line, yeah. The owner is rapidly dropping tanks. Yeah, 4 cat is, it, they've practiced quite a bit in this map, and you can tell by the way that they're executing this play. Yep. This Picking was their map the pick, though. I know, uh, the owner has Sand River as their map pick, so we'll have to see how that goes. I really hope it does go to a tiebreaker. I love seeing Ghost Town tiebreakers. Is it Ghost Town Encounter? Yep, Ghost Town Encounter is our tiebreaker map. That's actually be really cool to see, because Ghost Town, that's such a small map. That's probably a lot of super heavies. Oh yeah, it's chaos. Ghost Town is one of the few maps where, in comp, I actually see people play like E100s and mouses and stuff well, like that. with the most recent buff to the E100, that thing right now is actually devastating. Oh yeah. I'm glad they picked that line to, to reforge. You know, I actually, um... I uh, talked to a lot of super testers and I learned about the reforge almost two weeks before it was announced. <laughs> so I, I was I was excited. I couldn't really share it too much. I I yeah. shared it in a video, um, probably like two days before they actually released it. We've got a uh, one of the admins in ITW. He's a uh, he's also I don't I can't remember if he's a community contributor or what but uh he knows about that stuff and he always wants to tell us so bad but, but he, uh, he, he signed an nda he, he, he signed an nda and he can't yep yep uh, uh, super conk us... though super conk took a really strong position 5243 damage yeah he was putting in some work up there and that kronenwagen 3600 kronenwagen taking the back of the map there was actually a really good play on forecast side uh milner yep. though that's probably a map they weren't really ready for is what it seems like. I would agree. So, 4CAD jumping up 2-0 to zero right now. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that... the Honestly, taking a look at the way um, 4CAD play that, they are definitely... They've practiced quite a bit in Brock. they practiced, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can tell. Well, their, their setups for both attack and defense are just very solid. Alright, on to Sand River now, and if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure Mjolnir plays this map quite a bit. I'll be expecting some machines from... Machines being played on Sand River. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, um... Bat Chats more than machines. Bat Chats and Kronenwagens on Sand River have got to be a yeah. lot better than the machine. I won't be surprised if I see Artie either. I know Sand River is really popular with Artie players. So, with the point system in ITW, can you ban a specific class of tank, or is it only, t like, individual it's, tanks? It's, uh, individual tanks. So class then, of tanks would be, uh, class of tanks would be hilarious, too much. though. That yeah. would be hilarious, but Completely, yes, it would be way too much. Like, they should do a, um, like, you can only remove one class, and the only class that you're allowed to remove is artillery. Yeah, well, actually, you know what, now that I, now that I think about it, in our in our semi pro league, Artie is banned, but in our intermediate, it's not. I forget I forget about the rules that I make myself. <laughs> it, it happens though. It does. Oh yeah. It does. I I wonder if Forcad comes out with three O. That's gonna be. And that three O. Yeah, that would be. And then the fact that Mjolnir chose Sand River. And I take it that uh, Mjolnir's know, defending first as well, so... Yeah, yeah, they said they're fine with, uh... They're fine with the setup as how it is. Yeah, kind of... Yeah, Mjolnir choosing Sand River. If they do get 3 would that's gonna be a big hit. For sure. <laughs> that's yeah. gonna be a big confidence it's, blow. It, it's a map they chose and have that hit. Uh -huh. I mean, the worst part is, though, is that losing your first two matches in a row, that's already a confidence hit to begin that's, with. That's demoralizing. It is. So then, like, once you get on your own map, you're you're irritated, you're edgy, you're, mm -hmm. you're trying, and there's moments that you just need to calm down and focus on what's going on to try and, yeah, you know, it, take the control back. In my comp time and tanks there's there's two kinds of teams when it comes to getting too owed like right off the bat you're either you know like you said you're just irritated grumpy like god damn it you know or there's the guys who are like let's go baby come back train <laughs> come back train yeah that's that's the way it should be though you know there should be a lot yep. of positivity inside of it that's and, why whenever you're building your team, to your team what's that whenever you're building your team you kind of want to get the negativity and the positivity kind of equaled out yep 
And I think a lot of that falls on the leadership and how they handle the losses and the wins and whatnot, you know? Well, knowing 4CAD, I can't remember what they used to be called. Um, with Justice and Coffee Cub and uh, a couple yeah. of the other guys I recognize in there. They used to be a part of another comp team. So they transferred over to 4CAD. And, uh, yeah, I, I would say that it's been a minute since I've watched any ITW or <laughs> spectated ITW and streamed it, uh, per se. But this, I, I can definitely say I really like the way that they have the um, spectator mode set up now. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy they got it back. I know a lot of the streamers just stop streaming because of it well it was really hard to um you know call out who's hard, in what it's tank hard, yeah it's hard to commentate when you can't tell yeah. what's you know going on and you know people like getting the little call outs like oh there's prodigy infinity and his valor took a shot at the you know whatever it's, yeah. it's just fun little call outs and stuff like that without that being there it, it just feels kind of lifeless um, the way that we used to do it whenever we would do uh, map fights was actually take a screenshot in garage and then send it to both commentators, but it was still difficult. Yeah. Like, we, we had a hit point bar, and every once in a while you'd see the hit points of one team. Yeah, right? You know? <laughs> so I take it this update was uh, within the past month, or was it uh, the most recent update to the game? Uh, it was actually this Tuesday, I believe, is when they fixed it. Perfect, so that means I'm jumping back in at the right time. Right. Yeah, they uh, they fixed spectator mode and they uh, they added the blind pick option as well. Yeah, the blind pick was something I actually read inside the uh, patch notes, and I was extremely excited to see that. However, it's ruining my commentary. <laughs> I know it. I know in the past when I've uh, when I've been uh, or commentated in other streams, it, we always before the match would start, you know, read out their tank yeah, picks and all that stuff, you know, or come up with ideas on how they're going to be using them. What they're gonna do? Try yeah. and try and know their strats before anyone. <laughs> yeah, th this is a uh, a little demoralizing for me. Looking at this, just because I can't really tell. See what's it's going like, on. Is there just a QL that, anywhere? Right, getting that awkward lull where you're like, "Well, there's got to be something to talk about." Can we just hit the B right back and turn on music? <laughs> Alright, looks like they both got double check. Six eight. Alright, we are ready to go. Sweet. So yeah, whenever it comes out the comp, I played with um decoy during uh global map, but since I work rotating oh, shifts <laughs> Yeah, since I work rotating shifts, I go from days to graves to yeah. swing. So for me, it's really uh, kind of hard. And the worst part was oh, the yeah. end of Global Map, I got put on swings for two months. <laughs> oh, that sucks. All right, let's see what they've got going on. Looks like Mjolnir's got... Take a look at their... Two Chieftains, uh, two Valors, a CS, an IS-7, a Bat Chat, and a T-100. Um, we got four CAD. They're pulling out another Chieftain Mark VI, a uh, Valor T100LT. Uh, looks like we have a Super Conk as well, Machine IS4, CS63, and a Bad Chat 25 ton. Uh, more than likely, the Bad Chat's going to be going on the uh, JK line to do some uh, scouting down there. I would think so, yeah. Yeah, T100 is going to do some early spotting up top to see what they plan on doing. Honestly, though, whenever it comes down to uh, Sand River. Defending the B flag is probably your best choice because it's easier to fall back to attack on A. Yep. But I have seen Everyone some can... uh, sneaky scout plays over on the A flag because you got that little bush in the back down there. Yep. The owners got just the one tank actively defending A. Well, it's probably just going to be, um, he's there to spot or get spotted, spot, that way yep. you can uh, make the call out whenever... Like you said, it is up. it is easier to fall back to A from B. It's a lot easier, plus you have the hill that you can fight on. So yeah, the Chieftain and the Super Conk up on the uh, A3, kind of seems like they're being locked down a little bit by the uh, Bad Chat and CS down there. Yeah, yeah, Mjolnir's got a strong position right here on B. They've got tanks up on the hill and in the, uh, the dune down there. Plus, they filled with quite a bit of gun depression in there, an IS-7. That's a heavy turret armor for hull-down fighting. 
Yeah, Mjolnir, you Although... can definitely tell they have this uh, strat planned out very well. They're not risking their hit points a whole lot. They're trying to hold back as much nope. as they can. Do you have CS and a bat chat from Forcad pushing down towards Mjolnir's chieftain, though? Yeah, it seems about the uh, right call. You'd want to push down that backside. As you can see, the uh, chieftain's now backing off. Make him back off, yeah. Got the IS-4 pushing in towards ACAP as well from Forcad and the T-100. Yeah, they're probably going to be doing the um, easy scout unless the uh, T-100 just fired. There we go. He's going to pull up into the bush. He's hitting yep, the clutch right, the right there. There you go. They're going to apply a little bit of pressure over on uh, ACAP, that is for sure. But the T-100 is probably going to be pulling up here in a second to spot out Justice. The T-100 Chaos, came over and did like. a little peak run. Chaos did spot out Justice, so now they got to move. Yep. Okay, yeah, Mjolnir has practiced this quite a bit. They had that uh, T-100 Chaos All the fallback pulling down plans there. in place. Oh, yeah, they had that going down as well as they could. Because once you know that the light tank's trying to pull up into that bushy area, you know, it's pretty yep. easy just to blind fire now once you see them hitting the it's cap. It's like, uh, they've got the same exact deal on, uh, on steps. I don't remember what cap it is. It's over in the, like, B3 area, but they've got one little bush that you can hide in to cap out, but once you know that once you know someone's there, you can just blind fire it. Okay, but uh, Mjolnir, yeah, they're just locking down and holding. They really don't have any reason to move. Because really, right now, all they want to do is just let the timer hold out and let yep. it just now, if one of, zero out. If one of their tanks from B cap can blind fire that bush, they'll be in good, good condition. Uh, more than likely, the Chieftain's going to be blind firing that bush, hopefully. So tank king forty. I, th I think the I think the chieftain is just currently held down by that CS and bat chat. Well, I'm not talking about uh, army. I'm talking about um, king forty should be able to get a blind shot down in that uh, bush. Oh, oh, I got you. Okay. Over in a uh, D seven. Yeah, he should. D seven's got a view down there. Yeah, chieftain's got the gun depression to make that work too. IS four is putting a little bit of pressure down on the chieftain. Honestly, right now I'd rather take the hit and blind fire. Yep. Than um, just waiting. And there we go. IS-4. Honestly, IS-4 is right now firing at them with APCR. Unless you had like a 150 or 155, I'd actually hold off on that. There we go. Spotting out Justice. Doesn't seem like Justice did get spotted out, however, because he's still sitting there. He is tucked in that bush pretty good. Yes, he is. He's even um, in reverse, so he can pull off as quick oh, as he can. Oh, yeah, there to back we off because of the light. Chaos pulling up as quick as he can. If 4CAD wants to be able to cap out without a problem, they're going to have to take down that uh, T-100. That T-100 is what keeps messing it up. Yep. Chaos, though, I really like how uh, confident he is in pulling in there. Hmm. Pulled in there like it was nobody's business. Just in now. Yeah. Uh, the Bat Chat 25 ton over on 4CAD, though, down to a one-shot, so they don't really want to push in unless they yeah. know they can confirm the kill. But pushing a Chieftain... Hold of the little, CS uh, to push the Chieftain like that. Uh, I don't know. CS has got armor that's made to handle AP and APCR, but... Yeah, Prodigy, well... Pro Dig Infinity, he's, uh... Being <laughs> taken out there by the Chieftain Mark VI. No, that's... Right now, Mjolnir, they are definitely holding as much as they can. They're just trying to, uh, drain hit points. And just I mean, let I the timer I... click down. A strat like that on defense isn't bad. Just bleed them out for time. Yeah, because you don't really need to push. And... Yeah, no, you don't. You just need to hold as long as you can. And there we go. We got Southern taking shots in the IS-7 right now. IS-7 pushed up a little bit too far. So three out of four shots penetrating the IS-7, dropping him down to 1,000 hit points. Still, he's definitely going to be staying in the game with that many hit points. He's able to take some risky plays if needed. But yeah, Mjolnir right now, with that uh, double Valor and Chieftain, just lined up watching over B-Flag right now, holding down their Valor, Chieftain Looks and like Super Conk. Chaos, the T-100, is trying to make a push over to support the Chieftain. Might see a battle of the lights here. Honestly, though, Mjolnir right now, definitely good execution, but if 4CAD plays their cards right, they can bring this back. They, they still have five work. players in the game. Everything's just going to have to work out just right. 
Uh, looks like Mjolnir is finally going on the offensive against the machine and singling him out. There we go. The double shot coming in and going in for a ram kill. Down Up goes the top, machine. Supercock and uh, Chieftain now are just kind of waiting. Mjolnir's to got get the rushed. Supercock and the Chieftain surrounded. Oh, yeah. However, that CS is a one shot, so he's. he's yep, there he goes. Kind of seems like if um, Forcad just tries to focus out the IS-7, they might have a chance at this, but... Oh, never mind. That's a lot of guys coming. Yep, got the Valor and the T-100 coming around to support the IS-7. I actually really like Mjolnir's play right here, because if you look back, they still have their uh, Chieftain Mark VI back in the same position, not moving anywhere. Just holding. Oh, yeah, he's, he's just holding down the position in case they yeah. try and pull anything sneaky. It's actually a good play. And I'm ben surprised and the Chieftain Shake held out over there. Out. I'm surprised Chieftain held out as well as it did. Is it? I think well, at the Chieftain beginning, had if I remember support correctly. from um, D7. Oh, the IS-7 just dove off the cliff and died. And T100LT left last man. Um, I definitely don't think he has enough ammunition to handle this, but we'll see. <laughs> With two minutes left on the clock, yeah, he'd have to pull out some miracle. I've seen T100 players do crazier things. I, I would actually love to see that. He could honestly probably run out the clock just dodging shots. Ah, I take it back. Never mind. Well, a lot of APCR, you're going to be uh, struggling to <laughs> dodge shots there. Especially Mjolnir, a lot of them know how to lead pretty well. Yeah, Mjolnir, that was a good play. Yeah, they, they had a good choice on that map. So, definitely didn't get demoralized by the 2-0 uh, at the beginning. I think they were just biding their time until they got to their map pick. Yeah, so you think that they kind of just did some warm-up runs the first two rounds, and then now that they're on their I, I map, mean, they're I'm, taking it serious? I'm sure they tried on proc, but... You know, they could have just, that could have been one of their not so strong maps, or, you know, yeah, just, so like you the, said, warming up. Maybe the way that they looked at it was, um, you know, 4CAD, they practice on this map, they chose it, we're at a disadvantage, try your best. Don't stress they, it too much. They did fill the 60 TP. That's kind of the reason why I'm saying it. So they're maybe yeah. they were trying out something different, waiting to end up on Sand River. That way it's not as demoralizing once it hits yeah. their map. You know, because if, if you're trying out a different strat and you're testing out something, I mean, this is, you know, technically a championship round for knockoff, I oh, believe, yeah. right? This, this is, yeah, this is a yeah. this is a claim for bragging rights. <laughs> for bragging rights. Oh, yeah. So, no, I'd, I'd say that uh, Mueller with Sand River, I'm kind of wondering how uh, next would, round's going to be. I would be. love to see this go to the tiebreaker. Well, judging by the way that just went, we might be seeing a tiebreaker. I hope so. Like, not, I'm not trying to put any bad juju on 4CAD, but I would like to see Mjolnir win this next round. Well, I mean, they grabbed me out of nowhere. I better go to a tiebreaker. <laughs> so, yeah, Mjolnir, that was some really good execution on their part. Huh? I, I think a big part of how that worked out so well is that they, uh, they didn't freak out, you know. Even with when that T-100 was hiding on cap, and it was only, what, 40 seconds left? They didn't freak out. No, they just held it. Because no, they, they... So, what I really like to see right there was they trusted their light tank player, and Chaos, honestly, he performed pretty good in that T-100LT. Not gonna oh, yeah. lie at all. He, he had has, no worries in pulling when he up... he dove in there to reset, or to scare off... Not even reset, just to scare off the light. You know, he pulled in, did what he needed to do, pulled out. No worries. Yeah, IS-4, though. If I was in the IS-4, I probably would have focused out light as quick as I could right there. Lights? They're... The longer they're in the game, at least in my, my the opinion, the longer they lights become. are in the game, yeah, the bigger of an issue they become. It's the uh, same un way Unless with, they're you know, last man. Uh, if they are the last man and there's, you know, if there's like four or five tanks left, that's a... That's a scary situation. <laughs> it, it is. Depending if they're one hits or not. Yeah. But it, it's the same thing for, you know, like, bat chats. The longer they're in the game, the more dangerous they become. 
especially bat chats with that five five round clip yeah they can be extremely oh, yeah. devastating right at the end game between the damage they can dump out and then their mobility to get away and just hide it's still concealment yeah. everything that they have yeah bat chats in game can be extremely scary Gonna have to talk to your guys in uh, ITW and get the actual uh, legitimate emblem. I know. I, I'm so mad that I couldn't get the one without the white background. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> Just disgusted. I know. I know. So, um, what should we monologue about since, uh, you know, we can't really see what tanks are picking? Kind of just... Well, um... How's your day? You know what? It's Friday. I got uh, I got I got my tax return back today. I managed to rake in seven grand this year. Ouch! So I'm uh, I'm pretty happy. I I don't think I'm gonna be pulling back seven thousand. I think if I'm lucky, I'll get back five hundred. Well, I have a kid, so like it kind of helps. <laughs> yeah, I I guess there is that. One of the perks uh, of having kids. Speaking is, uh, of which, the that new Spider-Man. I was gonna go see that, I, but instead I'm streaming. Oh, I, I haven't seen it yet, and I'm upset with myself. Like, the, wor the worst part is, is uh, let there be carnage. I actually bought that the same day Spider-Man came out, and I didn't even realize well, it. So you, I just you did you finished. watch Let There Be Carnage? I own it. I did watch it, but the thing is, I oh, just it's... finished it and found out like ten minutes later, Spider-Man just released that night. <laughs> I didn't go see it though. Tell you what, let, let There Be Carnage was a funny movie. That was, was a funny movie. Let's let's not quote anything off of it though, just in case. No, 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 no. It was for for me not having seen the first Venom. Like the second Venom did it. You missed it. It, out. Was, it was a good movie. I know. You, I ended up watching it a couple the... weeks ago, but okay. at the time at the time that I watched Let There Be Carnage, I had not seen the first one, but it was still funny. Indeed. Honestly, though, the way that this is going, uh, Mjolnir, because now they're going on the attack, right? Or is it a uh, double mm -hmm. defense? No, they're going on attack. Oh, they'll be on the attack now. I'm wondering if we're going to see a uh, double bat chat. With the way that I've seen Mjolnir run in the past, they do like aggressive type stuff like that. I won't be surprised. Yeah, double bat chat's going down the JK line. Um, you you think that uh, Chaos will be running a light tank again? Two one hundred. I would assume so. I think he's their pretty standard light tank player. Because I do believe they had him running light tanks on uh, Proc Rafka as well. Proc, I think both rounds he was running the T100 and on this last round. But it, it's hard to find good light tank players that can operate on their own without having to be told what to do and know how to play them properly. Because, you know, callers, there's a lot of stress behind doing a lot of calling. I know, uh, I know when my team plays, like, my, my light tank, at the beginning of the match, I'm just like, do what you gotta do, let me know if anything's going on. Indeed, let the lights just do their thing. Okay, over on Mueller's side, we're looking at an IS-7, um, a 5A, a QL, two machines, uh, not a double bad chat, three machines actually, double Ooh. IS-7. Over here on 4CAD, we've got, let's see, two machines, an IS-7, a Va or two Valors, a Badger, a Kron Von, and 100. A Badger. I want to know where that Badger's going to go. Yeah, I want to know where that Badger's going to go. Honestly, if they filled the Badger where uh, Mjolnir had their Chieftain over in D7. I think that's D7, exactly where he's going. I think no, that's... He's, actually, no, he's taking the same spot the Chieftain had over at... Uh, F oh, zero. you meant the other chieftain. I got you. Yeah, because if he was there, that uh, chieftain was getting pinned in the hatch. If they would have filled the badger there, it has the same gun depression. And the machine rush it's pushing like, up on the left. It's like, yep, Mjolnir's making a heavy push to take that hill. Which, honestly, if 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 the if you can take that hill from the opposing side, that's a very strong position to be in. Because you get crossfire shots over inside where the hall down yep. heavies like to sit. Because you could have exactly like what Mjolnir's doing. Have people push the cap, and then if they can take the hill, they've got all those guys on the side trying to defend. Just listen to those machines fire. <laughs> I know. The sad thing is, though, is... Ooh, there goes that machine. There we go. We got the uh, 
Yeah, the heavies are pushing in down low as well on the cap. They're pushing that cap hard. That bad coming to make in. It back over. But I think he'll make it back is, in time. They're losing quite a bit of hit points right now. Forcad looks like they're standing up pretty well right now, counteracting this play. One tank down each side. Soon to be uh, about to be two. Two tanks down in Forcad. Now, if the guys down on the cap can hold out until they take out the size seven, I think they'll be in really good shape. But they are losing hit points very quick. Yeah, um, Mjolnir, they're getting hit extremely hard right now. Pretty much up to the auto loaders at this point. Well, seeing oh, that they only old. have two yeah. machines left and their one machine is down. Yeah, their I is seven. Yeah, four cat just gonna be going for cleanup now. That was a very quick round. That yeah, was, especially with uh, four cat. They just, you see, B flag. B flag is really easy to defend. You can have your entire team there. And with the way that uh, Forcad it, reacted yeah. to Mjolnir's uh, play there, that was actually a very good reaction. As long as you can hold down the hill they fought over, you're in good shape to defend B. Yeah, once they had a crossfire, and... just Mjolnir wasn't able to take them down quick enough. Forcad played that def or, yeah, that defense very well. Yes, they did. That was a very good play on their end. So, uh, sadly, no tiebreaker. I'm bummed out, but 4CAD is the ITW regular season champions. Excited to see how the tournament's going to go now. The owner's probably going to come back for vengeance. <laughs> they're going to use all their points. And they're going to say no badger. 4CAD played really well tonight. Indeed, they did. That was some really good plays. Like, once, once it came down to defense on Sand River, um... Like, Sand River defense, I find defense to be one of the easier ones in Sand River. Yeah. Offense on Sand River is very hard. Offense, you've, you've got a lot of open ground to cover to get up to the caps while your enemy's already dug in and ready to defend. Just because of the spawns, it's extremely early. Yep. Uh, other than that, four cats, some good plays. Yeah. Without a doubt. I think uh, I think the only way for that last round to have gone differently is uh, the owner needed to conserve their health points more, and if they would have taken that hill, I think they would have won that round. But they had to take it fast. They weren't exactly fast enough on that uh, play. Yeah, yeah. I think the uh, the tanks down in the cap got eaten up too quick. Um, I did notice up on the hill that the owner's machines did they uh they missed a lot of their shots when they did the first initial push. I think that might have been what uh what sealed the deal. Yeah, especially once they came up and they were just it kind of seemed like they were trying to focus out weak spots. Like if you're gonna be making a push like that to that hill, you know it's like yep. you already did an aggressive play. Why not risk a little bit more of your hit points to be able to get those weak shots? They'd be able to hit yeah. the weak parts to aim at the lower plates. Even if you know you're gonna die, it's like clip out. Take take one for the team. Yep. Put everyone else on reload or allow everyone behind you to be able to push up, use you for cover. Exactly. Because exactly. if you can get in there and do that, even if you're a tank down, if you have the cover and you have the advantage, that's going to be where uh, the play is going to be made. Other than that, 4CAD had a really good performance. Uh, Mjolnir, just as good as a performance. Their defense on Sand River was flawless. And uh, Chaos, definitely going to make a call up for him. He had no fear. Pushing in. Oh, yeah. Chaos, definitely. Mjolnir yeah. MVP. I'm calling there it. There you go. Mjolnir MVP, Chaos. <laughs> um, Other than that, uh, anything else you would like to uh, share? Uh, no, I, actually, I want to thank you for uh, coming to stream on such a last or short notice. Literally a 10 minute it. notice. Yeah, I, no, I, I, I don't even think it was that. It. <laughs> I'd love to have you, uh, well, I'd love to have you stream can... some more here in ITW. Or cat, I, I if if they ask, I have no problem just making a random appearance. <laughs> so, coffee cup. Hopefully you're catching this. Just know, no problem, my man. <laughs> I got you guys covered. I Plus, I need it. to get back into it. It was actually really nice to be able to see the spectator mode. It it, it it's a pretty good change on how they have it. 
except for the I'm names. I, they they should yeah. make the names a little bit transparent <laughs> along with the uh, health points so that we can kind of see through them. Yeah, that would be nice. But yeah. I'm, I'm just happy with how Wargaming is. I'm just happy to have the names back to begin with. <laughs> yeah, normally they don't approve our requests ever. Yeah. So that, that was pretty nice. So, well, yeah. Congrats, Forcad. Thank you. Thank you, Haven, for coming to stream. Indeed, it was Love nice. To get, you, uh, get you in on some of these tournament matches. I know uh, Semi Pro starts their tournament here in a couple days, and then the Intermediate League. They'll be starting their tournament in about a week or so, I believe. And remember, I work rotating shifts. There's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, other than that, uh, Garrett, it was a pleasure to meet you. And um, thank you for uh, being the co-commentator on this. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Indeed.